Hi, so in this video I'll be demonstrating serial communication uh, and the signals related to that. We have this board which is connected to 5 volt power supply there. And on that board is simply a MAX232 chip uh, with the circuit that's uh, realized around it. So this chip takes the 5 volt and creates uh, a 12 volt RS232 uh, transmission signal which is then carried out to this cable um, this cable is simply a serial to USB converter so it takes the serial uh, signal serial data communication signal and converts into USB signal which I can then connect to a laptop and I could then send data using a terminal such as PuTTY so currently I have it configured I just need to open the session so for for this cable, I need to use COM3 because this is how my Windows has allocated the serial ports for this device. And the speed is going to be the baud rate, so it's 9600. So if I click open, I'm going to see the terminal. And I can just um, send data by pressing the buttons on keyboards over the terminal. And this will be transmitted over the cable to the MAX chip. And then we can use the probes to actually see the data both at the RS-232 signal level and at the TTL level so the RS-232 is going to be 12 volt uh, no not 12 it's going to be 20 20 volts although you see that with this board it's actually 18 and the TTL is going to be 5 volts uh, for, for a 5 volt signal so we're going to see the same signal but with two different representations one is going to be the TTL, which is 5 volt, and the other one is going to be the RS-232 standard, which typically is 24 volts, but with this board we get 18. Um, and yeah, so channel, channel 1 is going to be the RS-232 level, and the blue, or channel 2, is going to be the TTL level. So if you see, if I uh, just send, if I press a button now, if I send something, we will get the signal for that particular button on the screen uh, I just need to reconfigure putty so that it can echo back what I'm sending in the meantime uh, this is a ASCII table so the ASCII table we're going to use to decode what we are seeing uh, the ASCII table gives us the hex representation of each character on our keyboard in the ASCII format so what I need to do is enable echo and then com3 okay so when I send data now it will be displayed so we can have some uh, track record okay so let's uh, um, what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll just try and capture a button which in my case is going to be shift u so let's just capture shift u so there it is. This is the data that we have. As I said, this is going to be the TTL, and that's going to be the, the RS-232 representation. And you can see by these arrows, this is where the zero volt level is for that signal. So you can see the zero here is actually in the middle. Uh, so we have five volt per bo uh, per division. In the in channel one, so each box vertically will be five volts, and since this is zero, uh, it will be actually zero, and then anything below will be below zero, and that will be above zero. Uh, so we have one, two, three, almost four boxes, which is going to be twenty volts, if it was up to that level. So it's about eight, eighteen volts, and on the second channel. This is going to be logic high and that's going to be logic zero. So this is the zeros, and that's a logic high. It's at two volts, so each box is two volts. And we have one box, two box, two box and a small amount more. So I would say it's 4.2 volts, for example, um, I think roughly 4.2 volts. So just like in any serial communication, it starts with the stop, the start bit. So it's always a zero. It's always a drop from high to low which indicates the start of the transmission 
followed by the least significant bit and then bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, bit 4, bit 5, bit 6, bit 7 and then typically we have the stop bit and parity bit. So the way I've configured PuTTY is that I have disabled the parity. So parity is not in the signal anymore. So we just have the start, uh, the stop bit at the end. So what we have here is the start and then bit zero. So that's one zero one zero one zero one zero. So this is pretty much. I just open. So this is what we have. We have one zero one zero one zero one zero as the data so this is in hex uh, j just to remember that uh, least significant first uh, least significant bit is transmitted first so we need to sh uh, flip the data now so it's gonna be zero one zero one and then zero one zero one so it's not gonna be AA in uh, base 16 is gonna be 5 5 so this is what we have received and if we go to the ASCII table you will see that for capital U you got 5 5 in hex hex being base 16 representation of binary uh, so you need to be careful you need to remember that the first bit is always that has been transmitted is always the least significant bit and binary numbers are written the least significant bit to the rightmost space and then the most significant is on the left so we need to flip the data when you see it on RS-232 communication okay so let's try another one let's try um, I don't know Z let's try s a lowercase Z so this is gonna be 7A uh, so let's just go back to putty you can see the last thing I sent was capital U and then one was pressed when I was trying to out and tap. So let's just try and capture that now. So what I'll do, I'll just send the letter Z. There it is. So just like before, we know that the first... Oh, it's a bit difficult now because we don't have any clock signal to synchronize and help us... Uh, determine how long a specific bit is so by knowing the the baud rate we can calculate the the bit time so for each bit we would know how long it would be um, so let's see if we can so just by the settings of the oscilloscope uh, in terms of time on the horizontal line we have 100 microseconds per division so every box uh, horizontally is going to be 100 microseconds so if we position the signals to be on a border of a specific box we can kinda see how long a bit can we can we can kinda guess how long it would be and when it's going to end so let's use the cursors to kinda guide us um, just disable this link I'm gonna get rid of one of them and just use one to point to where I want mm. yep and hide the menu okay so this first box is gonna be the first bit and that's gonna be the start bit always so that's always indicated by a high followed by a low and then we're gonna get the first bit or bit zero which is a zero followed by a one followed by a zero and then we have one two three four four ones followed by a zero so that's two four bits and another four bits and again parity is not here because of my putty settings the, the settings that I've set in my uh, terminal so I'm not uh, using parity it's not there the bit is not there and then we have the stop bit at the end this is a stop bit so let's just write down what we're seeing um, so again we have um, we have a start bit which is a zero 
then we have a 0 followed by a 1 followed by a 0 followed by a 1 and then we have three ones and a 0 and then followed by a stop bit which is high so this is what we have on the signal and again it's flipped so we need to arrange it correctly so what we're gonna get is 0 1 1 1 followed by 1 0 1 0 and if we convert that into base 16 we're gonna get 7 7 a okay so let's see if that's what uh, we have here in the table and yes you can see Z is exactly 7a in hex so this is pretty much it this is how we we can decode a signal on RS232 line if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching